for dinner if you can hear the shower sorry that's Andy but when we got here we literally we were so exhausted we just chilled out had a little bit of food because we were absolutely starving and then now yeah I've just got ready for dinner um getting here was actually okay I was expecting a little bit more I don't know a little bit more chaos at the airport to be honest obviously with everything that's going on but it was honestly, it felt completely normal other than wearing a mask. We got through like the airport really, really quickly. The only thing we had to do when we arrived um, in Rhodes Airport is we had to, well, basically they were doing random COVID tests, but essentially they were just picking out all the younger looking people. And regardless of whether you've been double like vaccinated or not, they were making you do a COVID test but and we got pulled up to do one but to be honest when they pulled us up to do one i thought oh my god please i just want to get in the taxi and get to the hotel it was the quickest thing ever it was just a nose swab wait five minutes results came in obviously negative and then we went and got our bags and here we are now so yeah a little bit like i wasn't expecting to do that but other than that it was all great it all ran really smoothly so the part of roads we're staying in is Calithia and this hotel is called the Elysium we have stayed here before we stayed here years ago basically mine and Andy's first ever holiday together we came here so yeah we just decided to come back come back and pay another visit so really excited to be here because I love this hotel so much love the hotel love where it is just really really happy that we are out here to be honest I would give you a room tour but as I said, we got some food earlier, so the room isn't the cleanest. We've got a big table in here with like pizza on it and stuff. But I will give you a room tour um, tomorrow. The sun has pretty much set now, but look at this outside our window. Look at that view. I'm not going to go outside in case someone hears me on the balcony. You can see the colour of the sky. The sun has literally just set, but our room overlooks the beach can't wait to go down to that beach tomorrow so just walking down to breakfast this is the view when you walk down so you come out of our out of the elevator right in front of the pool seas over there 32 degrees 32 what time is it nine o'clock nine o'clock and it's 32 degrees which is absolutely mental and um, breakfast is just over here Let's see what they've got it's like a breakfast buffet kind of style i think so I think I'm just gonna go all out and have like cooked breakfast. What are you feeling? I think I'm gonna go for healthy fruit. Healthy fruit? Why are you trying to show me <laughs> up when I'm having a cooked breakfast? You would usually always be on the cooked breakfast. No. no, are you changed man on holiday? So I've gone for poached eggs. You can't even see my toast. On toast, some bacon, some beans. Fresh Andy's, fruit. And he's got his fresh fruit and yogurt. <laughs> Is this really nice? Quite nice sitting here actually having your breakfast. They've got loads up there. They've got like pancakes, crepes, all pastries, cereal. They've got loads to choose from. It's really good. Good morning. First full day in Greece and we are obviously heading to the beach. Andy's already gone down. He literally couldn't wait. He's like a kid at Christmas. He's gone to get the towels and has gone to get us a couple of sun, uh, sun loungers. But this is what I'm wearing for first beach day. This um, blue bikini is from Misguided. Really, really like it. Really good tanning bikini because the straps are really thin and it's easy to like 
take off and then this oversized blue shirt is also from misguided it's like this really thin kind of linen-y linen, -y? linen material um, and this bag is from House of LBD. It's got my initials on. So cute. I used this as my carry-on case as well for the airport. I've been lumbered with bringing all the stuff um, down to the beach. In fact, let me put this down because it's actually really heavy. That's better. And then um, this hat is from ASOS. Absolute essential on holiday. I don't like having like, my face in the sun or anything like that. And then these are just my black ego slides. I thought I'd quickly show you the room. Um... Probably a really bad time to show you, actually, because the maid hasn't been. Shall I wait for the maid to get here? Maybe I'll wait for the maid. Do you know what? I just don't care. Let me quickly show you the room. So this is it when you walk in. I'm in here. I've been super organised and I've hung all my clothes up. And then my bags are here. Yeah, I'm just loving this at the minute. And then when you walk in, you've got the bed. Obviously, the bed's not been made, but yeah, the bed. I've got all my shoes lined up here for the holiday and then obviously a little table area for getting ready, TV, another little area here. I've taken over this for like doing my makeup and that sort of thing, hence why all that's out. Um, and then here you've got full length mirror, always really handy. And then we've got nice little balcony area and then the view, I mean you've probably seen it probably had a couple of sneaky looks already but the view is just the beach so as you can see you can walk down to the beach from the hotel um, and it's a private beach as well which is amazing and down here you've got the pool and basically the pool stretches all the way around that side of the hotel as well so yeah, really, really pleased with the room. Um, I think it's so nice. Yeah, last night we basically, we were so exhausted from traveling that we ended up just having dinner. They've got like a buffet dinner kind of thing. Well, they've got a few restaurants, but um, we just went to like the buffet dinner thing. Um, and then we went to have a couple of drinks at the beach bar because there was like some hotel entertainment on. Just this really random band were playing. It was like a rock band, but they were playing like absolute bangers. So we ended up sitting there for like an hour, hour and a half. Just had a couple of drinks, nothing too crazy. We came to bed, watched Love Island in bed, and then had a pretty early night to be honest because as I said yesterday, we had to get up at 2.30 in the morning, so we were shattered. But yeah, first full day today. I can't wait to go to the beach, so I'm going to head down there now. Okay, guys, hopefully you can hear me, but I haven't got my mic on the camera because I forgot to bring it. Yay! So if you can hear a, a bit of wind, then sorry. But this is the beach. It's a private beach for the hotel, which is which is nice because then you're not struggling to get beds. This is the view here. This is behind me. So this is like the restaurant where we had dinner last night. And um, we've obviously got the pool. But it's just so, so nice here. So nice. So I'm going to go try and find Andy who has got us a couple of beds, I think. And then here, this is where we were last night, this beach bar. Oh my God, I cannot wait to get in the sea. It's so hot today. It's supposed to reach 40 degrees, so I literally feel like I'm in an oven, to be honest. Oh my god, I can see him. I can see him just there, sat with his pink t-shirt on. I can see him smiling. He's listening to a podcast and he's just smiling to himself. What are you smiling at? Oh. This is camp for the day. Andy just told me not to film him walking down to the beach because he doesn't want a James Bond moment. <laughs> doesn't want to send all you girls into absolute hysteria. I've just noticed here, so I'm just sat here, ready for the day. Andy's head gone down to the sea. He wants to go and have a play. And then I've got my book. I saw Lydia Millen do her um, YouTube vid with this woman. She's like a life coach. And she just sounded really good. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy a book and have a little read of that. But I've just noticed this is really dangerous. There's a little thing here, so you can just order drinks, food straight to the bed. So, you know, I'm just sat here. I might just have to order myself a little strawberry daiquiri. Andy's taking us to this random restaurant tonight. And there's 
currently only a 10 minute walk. We're on some random dirt track right next to the sea. Over there. I have no idea where we're going. But apparently it's meant to be nice food. Look how nice it is here. And that's the restaurant where we go in, so Andy was right, there is actually a restaurant. Well, what an absolute adventure this one has just taken me on. So we carried on our walk, went to this restaurant. Well, I don't even know if it was a restaurant at this point. Like, honestly, I am sorry if there's a lot of wind, but I am not, I'm not a snob, right? But I don't know if this place could be classed as a restaurant, to be honest. I don't even know what I call it, but I was just like, this doesn't seem, and Andy was like, oh, but basically we're going to this restaurant because Andy had said he'd been there before and so the food was really good. We went in and actually sat down and Andy's like, <laughs> don't think this is the right place. And I was like, why the hell did you let us sit down? Now we've got to be really awkward and move. And then we spotted this other restaurant across like the sea, just further down the beach. And Andy was like, I think it's that one. I was like, right, have we got to walk back there? Yeah. So we walked back there. Was Can it you the repeat it? It sounds funnier. Was it the right one? No. No. So we sat down in this place. This man absolutely hated us in this last restaurant, by the way. He was just like, who the hell are these people? We look way too dressed to be going to this restaurant. There was a couple of people in there that were just staring at us like, what are you doing here? We sat down because we felt so awkward. I was like, look, we need to order something. So we ordered oh, a drink no. each and some bread. Oh, I'm about to get run over. So we ordered a drink each and some bread and like hummus and stuff. And then we're like, we've got to leave again. So now we're going to, we're getting in a taxi and we're going into Rhodes Old Town for dinner. And we're actually going to get some dinner this time, aren't we? So Andy's little, romantic dinner evening the the walk up the dirt track weren't really worth it was it babe no. weren't worth it also this place like walking through it kind of reminds me please comment if you anyone when you were a kid used to watch jeopardy on cbbc this place reminds me of jeopardy i feel like i'm lost in the wilderness so yeah, let's just pray this taxi gets here now because I am starving at this point and you yep. have ruined my evening. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get there. we'll get there. We'll check in when we actually get there. At this point in time, I'm not really sure why I'm allowing Andy <laughs> to lead the way to the restaurant. Right, are you sure? 100%. Um, we're in Rhodes Old Town now, but we've just come out of the main bit. As I said, Andy's brought me up this random alleyway. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you see those little kittens then? Wait, Andy, let me see these kittens. Nah, come on. No, let me see them. They're not. Hi! Hello! Oh my gosh, did you see them? Oh, hi! Hello! I bet this is the mum of those kittens. Hello! Oh. Oh we're finally in a restaurant for food so we've come to Nirias restaurant in Old Town Roads so when the food gets here I'll show you it's one of our favorite restaurants it's unreal <laughs> Guys, if you ever come to Rhodes, honestly, you need to come to this restaurant near us. I'll pop the name of the restaurants that we go to in the description box. But honestly, if you love seafood, this is the one. You are a nice guy. I love you, guys. <laughs> Here we go. First lemon cello of the night. I've been trying to convince Andy to go to karaoke bar and he's not having any of it. <laughs> You're not having it, are you, babe? No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Mr. Boring. <laughs> Should we have our lemon cello yeah, shots? Yeah, go on. And then ready one for you. Cheers. Cheers, one for me. Do you want... Woo! <laughs> oh thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Cheers, babe. 
Cheers. Cheers. We just sat in a bar in Rhodes Old Town. I'm not sure what's happened, but here we are. We've got six shots of Sambuca and Lord Welford that yes. thinks he can do them all because basically I bought him a shot of tequila and he was like, tequila is not my thing. Sambuca, I could drink a bottle of it. So I was like, okay, could you do five shots? And he went, buy me six. Buy me six. No, 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 you said you could do a bottle. You okay. said you could do a bottle. Right, are you ready? It's water. Ready? It's water. Did you say it's water? Oh, go on. One after the other. And again. And again. Oh god. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Number six. Water, water. Water, water. <laughs> <laughs> Alex has a Long Island iced tea and she doesn't want to be a, an actress today. An actress. What are you being a hater in this? Fake life. Why are you being a hater? Interesting, but... Cheers! <laughs> and this is what happens when you end up having one too many drinks. You end up the next day... Oh, oh my god, look at that. It's small, isn't it? Small. <laughs> Did we order chips? Oh, they're there. So we've ordered pizza and chips to our bed at the beach. Are they good? They're hot. Hot. Mm. By the way, we're not drinking two coffees. <laughs> they bring out the soft drinks in these cups. Why do they do that? He needs to stop it. Like spilling, I don't know. So yeah, we're not having two coffees on the beach. I'm gonna try this pizza. This, this dictation shows me what mood you're in. So you're sat there, yeah. you put it next to you, up, oh, unhappy. Yeah. Yeah? But, oh, I'm Alex, I'm happy. I don't think you'll ever be on that one. Happy Alex. I don't think you'll ever be on that one. No. I want it. Yeah, you want, want it? it. Want what it. do you want it for? I don't know, I like it. I want a Calippo. What do you want? Uh, do you have any of the lime Calippos? No. Oh, I've only got orange and strawberry. I'll get an orange one. Get Calippo. I just love looking at all the snacks. But look at this, look at all these biscuits. Still got your Smirnoff ice in the fridge. Right, Andy, can you explain why you bought me a Smirnoff ice, please? Alcohol selection. <laughs> look at their selection of milk or chocolate. Oh my god. I mean, I'd get some if it wasn't so hot, but all I want right now is an ice lolly, so. Okay, I'm gonna have to run out of here because the staff keep going around and looking at me because I've got a camera. Ooh, I need to run away. Previously on Love Island. So we're back in Old Town Roads for dinner. Um, we've come a bit early tonight because we're gonna check out some of the shops. But yeah, Rhodes is not a place where you can go out in heels because there are just cobbles and pebbles absolutely everywhere. Hey, kids. <laughs> what did you say? I'm kids. Let's get some sun, baby, it's time to go. I don't know what I do. 
I have no idea. Something, Olympia. Something. something Olympia. Just left there. Um, and now we're trying to find a place to go just for a quick drink here, here it is. before dinner because we're not hungry yet. Where are we going? I think here. Oh, no. I don't know where you're oh, leading no, no, here, 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 here. Oh, I remember this place. We've been here before. Yeah, and they do cocktails. We are warm, dark, sorry. We're going to have a couple of cocktails. Stoa Bar. So, me and Andy actually have a photo here. Came here a few years ago. We won't pop it up. Huh? We won't. We're not going to pop it up now because we both look horrendous. Did you just pull my chair out for me? Of course. Wow. I do it every time. Wow. Have we eaten in that restaurant? Never. I'm sure we have. No, no. We have just around that corner there. Yeah, we have. We have, there. we have a in there. So yeah, we're not going to have a repeat of the other night having 12 Sambuca shots, but we're going to have a couple of cocktails and then we're going to find somewhere for dinner. We've got nowhere in mind tonight. We're just walking around the old town. We're going to see what takes our fancy. Um, hopefully you can see me. Yeah, you can see me. I'm just going to see what takes our fancy because we're not hungry yet, are we? No, no, We're just no. going to wait, have, wait a couple of hours. It'll be midnight in a couple of hours. It'll be midnight in a couple of hours and we'll probably be five cocktails deep in a couple no. of hours. <laughs> and he's determined to not get drunk. I can get drunk, it doesn't affect me. The thing is, Andy gives into peer pressure too easily. So, no, we're not going to have a repeat of the night. Have a couple of drinks here. And then, yeah, just see where the night leads. Oh, we're going to go to Lindos tomorrow for the day. So, yeah. Just a chilled, nice night in Rhodes. We've just been saying that we're really not hungry for dinner and this is why we're not hungry for dinner. Because every time we order a drink, we get sent so many crisps and nuts and now we're just drinking mojitos instead of having dinner. I think I've eaten two multi-packs of walkers tonight. Yeah, two multi-packs of walkers per drink. So whether we end up Thank at dinner you. or not, I have no idea, but yeah, I I'm not gonna- was a Sambuca. <laughs> no, no more sambucas. Good morning. It is another very, very hot day in Rose. Last night we didn't even end up getting any dinner because we just filled ourselves up on so many bits to eat. We were so greedy that we just we didn't end up even getting dinner. So yeah, after we went to that bar, we just had another little walk through Rose, had a little look at the shops, um, and then. We went back home. I just had to quickly stop vlogging them because I had two people walk past me, literally stare at me and laugh at me. Great. So today we are, oh God, it's windy. We're heading to Lindos for the day. So we, Andy's just popped into reception because he's gonna get a taxi. Um, and then yeah, we're gonna go to Lindos for the day and just have a mooch around. It's so pretty in Lindos. Everything is just so white and it just looks like, I feel like it looks like how you'd imagine like Greece to look on Instagram, if that makes sense. It's just really, really nice. So we're gonna go there for the day. Um, we're gonna grab lunch there. Just go, basically most of the like bars and restaurants there are all on the roofs. So you can just kind of like bar hop. So that's, what, that's the plan for today. I'm wearing this scarf top from Missy Empire. Really like it. I feel very, very 70s wearing it though but really, really like it. And then I've got my H&M Levi's shorts on, and then this yellow bag is from Skinny Dip. So yeah, this is my outfit for today. It is so hot today. I think it's gonna reach like 40 degrees. So luckily in Lindos, um, a lot of the shops are kind of like in a bit of shade. So shouldn't be too bad, but yeah, Andy's coming now, so. We're gonna wait for a taxi. Here he is. So we're gonna wait for a taxi now and then we'll see you in Lindos. Just arrived in Lindos, sorry about the light, but it's kind of like all under cover here. So we're just having a little look around the shops. And then we're gonna stop somewhere to get some food. I actually find it amazing that these are people's houses here. But imagine living here. Captain's house. I imagine sitting having your breakfast outside your house here. Remember, if you come to Lindos, you need to wear comfy shoes because this is the situation everywhere. Oh my god, where are we going? I think we need to turn back. <laughs> Andy's got us lost already. Just 
dropped off at this rooftop bar. I'm not sure what it's called because I've took the menu away. I've got a nice white wine. Andy's got his beer. Cheers, babe. Cheers. <laughs> Can I just say, you wore that t-shirt already on holiday and the last time you wore it, <laughs> you were doing your Sambuca shots. Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're just waiting, we've ordered just some like bread and like picky bits. So we're just going to sit, have a little chill up here and then we're going to go down, do a bit more shopping. But yeah, it's so nice in here. We've got the whole rooftop to ourselves. You can see the sea. Because we're the only ones drinking at 12. It's it's after midday, we're on our holiday, right? We're on our holiday. So cheers. Quite possibly the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my Why is that one of like Zac Efron? <laughs> High School Musical Zac Efron vibe. Yeah, High School Musical 2 vibe he's given me. We finished. Are you sure that's not the way? No, that's good. That's good. We finished up our drinks and food. I've had an outfit change because, you know, Instagram life. So I've changed into this, another scarf top, but really love this. And my white HM shorts. Yeah. We're going to come and explore now. And he's being top vlogger and photographer. I've got a phone, camera, and a massive bag. <laughs> and I've got a blister. And he's my donkey. Can I have um, half up? When you find a good spot. Right, ready? I feel like you need to come right slightly. Just ever so slightly this up there. Hello? Yeah. That's it. We give up. He's so hot today. It's 38 degrees in the shade. I've had to put my hand on the table. Wine is helping, but we can't even sit out on the rooftop because I am dripping with sweat. Like, the boob sweat is real. I am literally <laughs> dripping with sweat. We're gonna go. We've got more bread, by the way. <laughs> just eating bread. Because we felt rude just sitting down. It's a nice little place though. It is nice. It's really nice here, but it just felt a bit rude. Just sat down, not ordering any food. So we're going to finish this, and I think we're going to get an ice cream, aren't we? And just find a pool. Find a pool. And tr the goal today is just to stay alive. That is today's goal. Problem with scarf top. Is it tight? <laughs> yeah, the problem with scarf tops is they come undone all the time. So Andy's been on scarf shoes. <laughs> this is like the third time he's had to do it up for me. Good egg. Ooh, what did you have? Stratticella. What Stratticella? Have I had that before? It's like chocolate and... Um, <laughs> Do you even know what it is? No, it's like chocolate and like vanilla. Oh. But like not quite vanilla. I've gone for mint choc chip. We are now back from Lindos. It was just so, so hot. We didn't know what to do with ourselves. So we were like, do you know what? We need to come, come back to the hotel and just go and jump in the pool. So I'm wearing this yellow bikini today this one's just from boohoo uh, i've got my blue cover up and i've also got this yellow bucket hat from asos and i just thought it all looks really cute together so yeah we're gonna head down to the pool look how nice of a day it is we just need to go and cool down so see you in a bit good morning so Last night, I think I told you we were going like back down to the pool. I'm not naked. Wow, I look naked. I'm not naked. I have got a bikini on. Um, but yeah, last night, we when we got back from Lindos, it was just so, so hot in Lindos, honestly. It was, it was almost unbearable. So we came back. We actually went back to the beach. And we just took our books. And it was just nice. You know, you just sat in the shade and kind of having a bit of a snooze, a bit of a doze. It was really, really nice. So we did that last night. And then we came back um, to the room to have a shower, get ready for dinner, and then boom, all of our electricity went off. And basically the whole island had power cut. So basically, by the way, when I say this, I don't, 
I don't know all of the exact facts. I'm just going off what I've been told. I'm sure by the time this goes up, I'll know a bit more about what actually happened. But basically, as far as we're aware, there was a big wildfire in the very, very far north of Rhodes. We're along the east side of Rhodes. So we couldn't see or see any of it or anything like that. And basically, apparently the planes that were sent in to drop water on the fire to obviously contain it, and they dropped water on the power station, hence why the majority of the island had a power cut i think some of the island lost water that sort of thing it's not affected the airport or flight i know sometimes with wildfires it's not sometimes it's not even the fire that does it it's the smoke if there's too much smoke on the runway flights can't go etc etc but yeah we've been told this morning that it's been that it's not out but it is um it has like been contained uh we did our covid test this morning as well so we had to do our test to fly back to the uk so we're quite quite convenient actually because a doctor comes to the hotel and it's all done here which is good because i thought we'd have to go back into roads to get the pcr test done there so it's been a lot more straightforward than we thought so that's been done this morning should get the results back tomorrow and so yeah here we are today andy's down at the beach waiting for me it's 11 o'clock so i'm about to head down meet him at the beach i can't stop looking i keep thinking that i'm naked um so i'm about to go down to the beach but then i've got a massage booked in at one o'clock which i'm so excited for the best massage i've ever had in my entire life was here at this hotel so i'm really excited i'm having a massage i'm having a facial and yeah just having a very very chilled day after yesterday we did a lot of walking we were absolutely shattered we were falling asleep in the taxi on the way back from lindos we were just i think from the heat from all the walking it's very very hilly there's lots of steps we were shattered so we we're like Do you know what today we are just taking it easy um so yeah we're not leaving the hotel today we're just chilling here and yeah as i said i've got my massage in a bit so i'm gonna go down and meet andy at the beach just read my book for a bit yeah it's been such a lovely relaxing holiday and i've kind of made it i've made a point of trying to not be on my phone a lot i know i've been i've been snapping pictures and updating my instagram story and that sort of thing but i've really been trying to not just sit on my phone and scroll i've genuinely not spoken to anyone since i've been here i feel like i've been a bit cut off from everyone but i think that's what i needed i just needed some absolute downtime which is what i've had so yeah i'm thoroughly enjoying it we've only got two days left which i'm really sad about it's such a lovely hotel um such a lovely place but um we have come during a heat wave so it's never been this hot when we've been here before and it is absolutely scorching so yeah probably not the best timing on our part but do you know what at this point in time a holiday is a holiday and i'll take it i'm so just happy that we've been able to get away see so yeah, i'm just wearing this cute little yellow bando bikini today and i've just got my cap on let's go to the beach yeah. it's our last night so we've come back to our basically the place where we had the best meal of the entire holiday where we always but come where we always come every single time we come yeah. here to nirias so we're just waiting to get seated how do you feel to back at your favourite restaurant? Very good. <laughs> Are you enjoying your wine? Excellent. What have you ordered? Octopus. Yep. Mussels. Yep. Prawns. Shrimp. Scampi. Yep. Salad. Salad. What are you most looking forward to? Octopus. Cool. Nice, nice interview. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. Hi guys, I just thought I could pop on to close off this vlog now. We are just sat in the um, like lobby area just waiting to be picked up. Yeah, we've got about 10 minutes to get to here, so yeah, waiting for that. Gonna go home. I don't think we, we're not gonna get home too late, so plan is get home. Our car is at the airport, so we're gonna drive straight back home, McDonald's, bed. So yeah. Love Island. And Love Island, of course. Do you know what? We've been here for a week and we haven't missed a single episode of Love Island. I think that's dedication to be honest sad, sad and Fine dedication and i will see you in the next vlog next vlog will be back at home probably a bit of quarantine life who knows but yeah i'll see you in the next one bye